हेलो एवरीवन आई एम नवल यमुल वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू चेक द डेटा ब्रिक्स डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सो इफ यू वांट टू बिगिन योर करियर विद डेटा ब्रिक्स डेटा इंजीनियरिंग और डेटा ब्रिक्स मशीन लर्निंग और यू वॉन्ट टू लुक एट द लेटेस्ट फीचर्स ऑफ द डेटा ब्रिक्स लाइक जेन ए और यू आर ऑलरेडी वर्किंग विद डेटा ब्रिक्स एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लोर सम मोर डिटेल्स तो दिस डॉक्यूमेंटेशन विल हेल्प यू अलॉट You can just go to Google and type Databricks Docs. So Databricks documentation is available in AWS also and in Azure also. So you can see here now I'm in the Databricks documentation. Now it is showing me an AWS one. You can easily switch from AWS to Azure by just clicking on this. So let me click on this in a new tab, and it's almost same. Only the few terminologies related to Azure we can see it differently. Like you have ADLS. and so on when it comes to aws we have s3 bucket and so on and most of the things are almost same here so let me start with this you have some important links here so this all video will be based on the azure documentation guys so every every day every week they are going to update something new here so i want you to check this documentation i leave you i leave this documentation link in the comment guys in the description you can check it so you can see get started workspace introduction i those who are starting it very fresh with databricks those who want to make a career in databricks i want you to check out each and every link guys and look at the detail documentation on that so this is really a cool documentation you don't need to refer any other documentation guys now with this you can clear your certifications you can get all the answers of your projects if you are have any query if you are troubleshooting any problem you get everything in this and here you have a beautiful search also you can just type it for example i am just working on migrating your lake uh, hive meta store data to the unity catalog you can check it migrate from your traditional or your legacy catalog to the new catalogs you can check everything is possible here so let me explain here so you have an introduction to the databricks was exactly the databricks what is lake house and so on and i have already explained you all those terminologies in my previous videos if you missed out i want you to please check those videos guys then connect into the data sources yes databricks helps you to connect to any external systems guys you can check here so you have you can make a connection to not only your storage accounts but to your any databases data warehouses even big query snowflake you have everything here okay you can check it out then discover the data then once you have made a connection you can start extracting the data you can start discovering your data you can even query your data how you can query it you can check here and how you can load the data into the lake house so when you load the data into lake house you don't need to refer into the new documentation of the lake house so or delta lake you can see delta lake is completely here you can see all the delta lake documentation is already covered here so from what is delta lake uh, what are the features of the delta lake and how you can use optimization techniques for delta optimizing liquid clustering and then how you can implement cdf that is change data feed table constraints everything everything is mentioned here and if you are looking for the databricks sql as a data analyst and so on databricks warehouse is something for you guys so you have a databricks uh, sql what is serverless and how the architecture is built there and what are databricks sql dashboards what are alerts and here we use a materialized views how the materialized views are different from the views i want you to just check it and if you have any specific question on it so you can just let me know on the comments guys i'll definitely make a videos on on that and when it comes to a complete data governance yeah databricks has introduced a feature recently uh, in 2022 on unity catalog so what is unity catalog how you can use a data access control how you can do a data discoverability everything is here so what i mean to say is you this is all documentation and you can call this as a databricks bible so even if you are using an aws databricks or you are to explore azure databricks the documentation is almost same guys you can check so okay you can see here discover data query in just prepare and here you have a delta lake also so if you are specially looking for the data engineering perspective you can see you have complete documentation related to data engineering so what is dlt what is structure streaming or uh, documentation related to pa, uh, apache spark here 
what about the computation all purpose compute job compute what node databricks notebooks gives you the ability to to do all the works what is dbfs how you can optimize and do the performance all the data engineering stuff is here and if you are related to machine learning all the documentation related to machine learning is here so what is auto ml then your machine learning life cycle management your production best practices a step by step ai and ml onto the databricks you find it everything and now databricks has recently launched a generative ai and llm course also and you have complete documentation on this so even now with databricks you can start building your own ai model and you can use it like a chat gpt so you have complete documentation here so what is generative ai ai playground so using your llms so by using some open source like hugging face langchan and ai uh, databricks has recently introduced the uh, ai functions by just writing a sql query you can do that so i want you to check all this documentation guys it's a bible for all your databricks you might use azure databricks for the documentation or you can use aws databricks for your complete documentation guys so that's all for today's video guys thank you see you again if you have any specific question any specific topics that you need you want me to cover please put it in the comment i'll definitely do that thank you see you again bye bye